wet, wild and very windy. This was a storm to be avoided. Isha made landfall last night and was felt across the UK and Ireland, leaving a trail of destruction and near misses. Mother Nature was at the helm and clearly enjoying it. Planes became yo-yos as gusts neared 100 miles an hour, turning landing into a lottery. I suspect we won't end up flying back to Bristol because it, the, the risk is just too much, really. It was one of several flights that didn't end up where it was supposed to, with planes forced to circle before being sent elsewhere. This should have been a short hop from Manchester to Dublin, but eventually went all the way to France while these passengers bound for Gatwick had to land in Paris before boarding late-night coaches back to London. The plane started going up, down, sideways, and I actually thought we were going to meet our makers. So um, everyone kind of remained calm until uh, the pilot suddenly pulled up the thruster and we realised that we weren't going to land. On the railways too, chaos for commuters. One fallen tree triggered a fire near Glasgow, but it wasn't just trees that were being uprooted. The only thing that didn't move were the passengers, with cancellations across the network. This is the ninth named storm of the season, a new record, and it covered all corners of the country and beyond. In Ireland, there are now hundreds of thousands without power. Isha's impact will be felt for some time. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.